Hello Pisces and welcome to your June reading 2021. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. And here we have Mr. Black Buddy. There we go. Yes, saying hello. Okay, so the first card that came out. The first card that came out is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords, uh, this is like a decision that you have to make. And right at the beginning of the month, you're like, okay, what is my truth? What is my reality? Who am I? This is kind of, oh, it always goes back to this on every decision we take, you know, like, uh, what am I? What do I accept? What's my truth? There's a decision here. And there's a decision because I have the world, I have death, and I have the hermit. Three major arcanas here. So there's the end, the finishing of a cycle in your life. And it's time for you to purify it, to transform, so that it's not like repeating the same thing, but actually... Uh, it can lead you to a new level. And with the hermit, that tells me that you're going to follow your light on this, follow your truth. You might not know where it's heading. Uh, you might not have like, you know, like three years in advance uh, plan here. But you're going to go with, with what feels right on every step of the way. And then you will arrive to your conclusion, to your decision. King of Swords. Okay? Under our Two of Swords, I have the Page of, one, of Cups. And under that, the Moon. So what it says right away with the Moon and Death there. There are two cards that follow one another. So you see here in the moon, and you've probably heard me uh, talk about the moon. We have here, here the lobster coming out of the water. And it's an analogy of as the lobster grows, he has to shed his shell. And as we grow, our soul grow, at one point it's too tight in the reality we gave it. Reality is this, this, this. And it can't expand in there. And it feels tight like a girdle. We have to pass this little path in the middle. Here you see a little path. We're going to cross these two. Which can be like a dog and a wolf. Or the white wolf and the dark wolf or whatever. But it's like your ego. Your animalistic side. And your higher self. So... One will howl at the moon and say, watch out, no, don't change. We don't know what's out there. We see nothing. It's night and so on. And the other one is, like, is going to guide you and say, it's okay. Let's move into transformation. Because once you cross these two pillars, you're going to receive the download of the sun that is behind. And you see all these little golden nuggets coming down. And these, got, these nuggets are in the shape of the letter Yod in Hebrew, which means the finger of God giving a direction. And if you look at the death card in the background, there, you have the sun and you have the same two pillars. So this is the quest, like this. You enter here because you cannot go on like that. It's too tight for your soul to live in this reality. And you end up there. And so that's right there. So to take that decision, since we have the page of cup, it's like if you would need a little extra cup of love there. Okay? And that extra cup of love can come from outside of you, but it's about allowing it within yourself. Okay? Yes. I need to love myself more to make that decision and allow myself to transform. You're going to pull a judgment here 
under the death and the world and so on. I have the two of pentacle and I have judgment. So it's a decision that is not just marking uh, the end of a period, but it's actually marking the end of a cycle where you were at the point where you were actually juggling here. Juggling with, you know, it can be I smile out, it's outside, but inside I'm freaking out. Uh, my concept of reality and reality itself does not fit together. Uh, I want to be loved, but I don't love myself and I don't believe it if somebody tells me they love me. This is juggling. Okay, so that's why you can only, since you can only receive the love that you are able to give yourself. I'm talking about love here. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's on every level, but it's because we have cups. Uh, same for abundance. I cannot receive more value than the value that I address to myself. So here a big judgment on that, which actually helps you with your king of swords here. At the end of the month to make your decision and then all of a sudden three of ones the horizon opens up and here is your ace of cup with the eight of pentacle so with the ace of cup this is like that extra you know what yes I'm gonna grab that cup the divine is there for me loving me I am love and this is how I am going to invest myself creating and manifesting in this life with an extra cup of love. And of course, in the Ace of Cup, you have also the drops of water that are falling all around are also in the shape of the Yod letter, the finger of God. Because in the waters, in our vibration, we have downloads. You know, input. Uh, so here, a brand new kind of input that comes from the love of the divine. And this is what I'm going to use to invest myself in for what is coming next. Because that cycle is over. And you were in the big, um, right now, if you're in the nine of swords, that speaks to you. Let's clarify this. All right. We have a bit more space. <laughs> okay. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Pisces. For the month of June. with the four of pentacle so you know it's a decision on something that you've been holding on to uh, because it was it's a, it's like an illusion of security okay when you look at the four of pentacle he's holding on to his four pentacles but when we know that life can bring much more and that the balance of life is six of pentacle those four of pentacles are not even enough okay And then you had the world and death here with your transformation. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Yeah. Okay. Well, so first of all, here, this will open up a brand new path into your life. You're actually going to leave your comfort zone and you're going to start building your new reality with faith. Look at you, you know, 
releasing your old baggage, having faith, and that will move the wheel of fortune for you. So that decision is all part of acknowledging yourself, leaving a period behind that was kind of a war anyway, and there, a new path is in front of me, I'm going to take it. I'm going to push the wheel of fortune with my decision, King of Swords. Yes, King of Swords, Ace of Swords. And here I have the Hangman. Um, what you were holding on to, that kind of status quo that wasn't moving, the universe was putting everything on hold there uh, so that you don't dig yourself more or whatever and so that you would come to the point when you, you would look at all of this from a completely different angle and see the decision that you have to make. Let's look at that page of cups. This one turned but came back. Yeah. Page of Cups. Ah. Hangman and the Moon. And here is the Four of Cups. So, yes, what you have to look from a different angle is that maybe you need to turn your head and see that Ace of Cups. Uh, that is hanging in the hand of God there. I don't know if you can see it, the reflection. But here we have the repeat of the moon that is right there that I just explained. Okay? And okay, maybe I don't know what's in front. But I have to go look within myself and find who I am truly, who am, am I really. Okay? I have to look and get that cup because I'm going to have to grow and transform. Let's look at the moon. Wedi. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Let's look at the moon. of swords again and here I have the five of cups with the page of sword going into that quest of the moon is going to give you the clarity on that um, pain and sorrow of the things that did not work maybe you're facing this a pain a sorrow something that was spilled when you look at the five of cups he's got five cups down there you know that spilled and here it's having the clarity going within yourself is going to give you that clarity of why these cups fell how come this happened so that you can really make your decision two of swords here let's look at your two of pentacle Queen of Pentacle. What's your worth? What's um, the Queen of Pentacle? That's that inner knowledge that we're all it, you know? So as soon as uh, this is shaken, that this is like yes and no and yes and no, of course we'll hold on to the minimum uh, that we have by fear of losing even more than that. And usually that means that we're not truly happy. Judgment. Two of Swords. You're making a decision. And here, Seven of Wands. You're going to stand for yourself in the, stand, in the sense of this is, I'm not taking any 
hits anymore. I'm using my willpower and I'm going for what I want. So you made your decision and then we had the Tree of Wands. Is that the Tree of Wands? Yes. The Tree of Wands and then the Ace of Pentacle and the Eight of Pentacle. Mr. Blackbody is a bit annoying today, but that's okay. He's loved anyway. Tree of Wands Spirit. Tree of Wands. Okay, so Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacle, High Priestess, and what fell down is Death. So yes, what is coming towards you is the transformation. So you will not be finished transformation, transforming in the month of June, okay? This is a process and you are going to grow, go through it. With the Ace of Pentacles, that tells me that you, it, through that transformation, you're going to add this plus value here. And it's a shift that your soul needed to do in order for you to receive more than what you have received until now. And that's why you're going to go for it. And here is that Ace, ace of Cups. So by investing yourself in this, in this transformation, in this growth, you are getting an Ace of Cup. And that, of course, is going to transform. Whoops. Here is the Lovers, Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. It's going to transform your Seven of Cups. Um, where you were trying to see... Does that person uh, cares? Is is this something I can do? Uh, is do I have what it takes? And then you would mix the dreams and the and the nightmares all together, not seeing what is in front of you. With the lovers, this is that beautiful rebalancing of your feminine, your masculine, inspired by the divine. So how you perceive and the decisions you make what you allow in and what you can, you know, uh, create in this world and so on. And then you're going to be out there. All right, Pisces? So anyway, in, if we sum all of this, what you were holding on to was not enough, okay? And there was a part of you that thought that you couldn't get more than that. But now you're understanding it. And that will allow this beautiful wheel of fortune, the world and death transformation to happen into your life. I'm going to call this transformation so that, you know, it can be all aligned between here, here and the guts there. No more juggling. Okay. So it's a beautiful transformation that is allowing an Ace of Cup into your life. Okay. So on this, my beautiful Pisces, thank you for watching and sharing and commenting. And please subscribe to help grow the channel. Uh, if you want a private reading, there's an email below where you can write to me and I write to you back with a, a file with all the process and so on in it um, I will never write a phone number in the com comments or whatever if you see this it's not me so um, apart from that thank you for the ones of you who gave donations it helps more than you think and of course on the new moon and full moon I do a little ceremony to give you back and <laughs> On this, I'm going to wish you an amazing month of June. Uh, <laughs> enjoy and allow the transformation. The more you allow it, the easiest it's going to be. All my love and light Pisces. And I'll see you next month.